my name is Adam. Hello, my name is Liz. And today, we are answering Google's most searched questions about the South. We're gonna answer them for you as if we're Google. Google's question number one. Are Southerners happier? Happier than what? Yeah, happier, happier than, than what? like the rest of the world? In the world, are Southerners happier? Yes. Mm -hmm. 100%. Because we have banana pudding. Look at this spot. We got good food, so. If we are either at a meal or thinking about the next meal coming up, or thinking about a meal we just had, we're mm. probably, on the scale of happiness, we're probably like kind of off the charts. Yeah. They yeah. say money can't buy happiness. But it can buy banana pudding. And food can equal happiness. It's an equation. If you were to look at that pain chart that has faces. <laughs> what number are you? And you're just the... I'm a zero because I'm eating. <laughs> then I stepped outside because of the heat. And I'm a 10. No, a 10. Why can't Southerners drive in snow? Well, it's because we don't have snow, snow to drive in. Are, do they teach y'all up north how to drive in snow? Because they don't teach us. Like, yeah, how they, would they? Like, we don't get to practice. Yeah, they, it just happens. One, one January morning, you wake up and like, well, this is it. Time to get to work or die. You know, it's like saying, why can't fish walk? Yeah, similar. Similar to that, definitely. I think it's about balance. Um, everybody needs a kryptonite. God said you can't, you can't all be perfect. Let's just give them snow once a year to throw them off. Yeah, yeah. Keep us humble. Yeah, that's what it that's is. That's all that is. Are Southerners less educated? Well, we read that question. Well, <laughs> who, who Googled this? Yeah, we'll find you and we'll hunt you down with our super smart brains, big brains. Everyone on this channel has a college degree. Several of us have multiple college degrees. Um, I'm not one of those. Uh, and we can read, we can write, and we can whoop your ass. Again, I say roll tide. Yeah, I, I saw you flinch. What? How do Southerners eat grits? How? How? I usually snort mine. <laughs> Like, are you saying it in a way of like, how do you eat this stuff? Or like, oh, you really want to know how we the eat The mechanics it, of like, it. Like, with a spoon. Because if this is then, a question, uh, then you're the less educated. Yeah, bowl to mouth. And it, really, any way you can make that happen is, is fine as long as it goes from, from A to B. But if you're asking like the, um, more like a conceptual how, how do Southerners eat grits? It's because they're delicious. Why do Southerners call Northerners Yankees? Well, it's because we assume that everybody up there plays for the New York Yankees. <laughs> we all assume you're all on the same baseball yeah. team. I just figured that it was because Yankee Doodle was their top favorite song up there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's always the top 10 up, up there, yeah. I think. I don't really know the I, I truly have no this. idea. And I, I'm afraid to... Uh, Go there. Yeah, I feel like this is a historical thing that, yeah. like, we're not. I don't want to get it wrong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of Southerners look different. <laughs> look different. Look different from each other, or from everybody else, or just in general. <laughs> like, <laughs> I like. I like that it would be framed as each other. Like, I don't know genetics, man. <laughs> it's because we're sweaty. <laughs> That is probably it, to be honest with you. Like, why everybody looks real shiny down there. Like, I don't think I could look at someone and be like, like, without hearing them talk, without talking to them at all, I don't think I could look at someone and be like, you're from the South and you're not. People say the guys down here dress like tablecloths. I don't. Maybe sometimes. Mm. Why do Southerners say Miss first name? Because it's polite? Yeah. That's because we're afraid. It's scary. Southern moms are scary. It's got to be miss or ma'am or yes ma'am or they'll get you. Usually the miss would be because it's a friend's mom or like a teacher or something like that. Yeah. It just comes from like growing up and wanting to be polite to uh, friends of your parents. They have this fun little term that they throw around. It's like you were brought into this world but we can take you out and they mean that. Yeah. Why do southerners have an accent? Why do you have an accent? You proud? Proud that you said that? Oh, you ever thought that maybe you're the one with the accent? Mm hmm But there are certain words that I absolutely have an accent on, but it's like not all of them. Yeah, like every time I say dog. Dog. <laughs> this is the way that English was supposed to be spoken, is the way that we're talking right now. Yeah. You're wrong. Y'all is in the Bible. Mm-hmm. Look mm -hmm. it up. Kind of where you grew up, yeah. who talks like what, where, and then there's some yeah. sort of linguistic history behind where accents come from right. that I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Because I am less educated. <laughs> <laughs> because as Southerners, we are less educated. Uh, why do Southerners call soda Coke? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> why not? Why do you have a problem with that? Why? The more ubiquitous. Yeah, I mean it's soda? like Kleenex. Yeah. Like we don't call it tissue. No. You're like saying you it? call all tissue Kleenex. 
Yeah. So we just call all sodas Cokes. Yeah. Back, back in the day, it used to be you called all video games Nintendo games. Really? Even if they weren't. Even if they weren't Nintendo. You know, we're going to play Nintendo even though you fire up the Sega. It's the same thing. Yeah. Since we're on the subject, what about you You guys? Like, you know, y'all are like, we like pop. And I'm like, why That's are you so calling it pop? That so sounds so dumb. Yeah. That is a genre of music. And you're over here like, I'm thirsty. I want some pop. And I'm like, you can't drink music. I tried. It makes no sense. Y'all, stop doing that. Yeah. Why do Southerners say whenever instead of when? It's whenever is a word, right? Yeah. So. I think it's saying that, like, Southerners use them, like, maybe interchangeably. What's wrong with your knee? Well, whenever I do this. Yeah. Uh, and, yeah, maybe that's not in the right context. But it's just going to prove to y'all, a lot of people say Southerners shorten our words. No, sometimes we double them. Sometimes we make them twice as long. Whenever you want to, it's just, it's casual. It's, yeah. It's like saying, it's a when you wake up, I'm throwing, a, throwing yeah, the ball back into your court whenever. Whenever, whenever. I'm, I'm easy going, I'm yeah. loose. I go with the flow. Yeah. I am not high maintenance. Yeah, it's more flavor to the sentence, right? Yeah, I yeah, think so. You know, like whenever, like why just say when? You can say whenever. That's why we're happier down here. Yeah. We have flavor to food and to English. And to language, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Why don't Southern houses have basements? Okay, so this is another regional thing. Yeah. Because we do have basements yeah, there here are basements. in Birmingham where we film these videos. I'm not an engineer, but for the ones that don't, it's probably like due to flooding or possible flooding in that area. Yeah. New Orleans, they don't have basements no. because they're under the water. Right. You have a basement, I have a basement. Like South is very big, like we got basements. I wanna know, like when you Google this, what came up? Was it just some sort of like article that said that, basically? <laughs> Probably an article from southernthing.com. <laughs> Do Southerners like Northerners? Well, I guess it all really depends on your behavior now, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Depends on you, if you're a good person yeah. and we vibe. Unless you piss us off. We're cool. Like, it's just when you guys ask dumb questions and then expect us to be okay with those dumb questions. Like, I'm actually still upset about the basement question. And I think we need to circle back. We have basements. All of our answers for these are just like, just like I don't know, talk to people. I'm kind of offended. <laughs> I don't know, talk to someone else that's not like you and maybe you'll strike up a friendship. Yeah, just live normal life. <laughs> How do Southerners say oil? Oil. Oil. Oil, oil. What's, what's, what's oil? Oil? Oh. Oil. Uh, well, I believe they say it like, oil. Oil. Gotta put some oil in the car. Oil in the pan. Yeah, need an oil change? <laughs> hey, can someone get the dog out of the car? <laughs> the, the dog's covered in oil. Oil pronunciation. Oil. Why she say it like that? Very breathy. Yeah, oil. 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 No one has oil. ever said it like that. that. Like, even if that's supposed to be right, that's not right. Oh, hello, Express Loop. I need an oil. Change. You would get a free express lube. They the would Brazil. run me out of there. They wouldn't even look at my air filter. They were just like, I'm sure it's good and see you later. I'm out of here. <laughs> Bye. Excuse me, I need a oil oh, yeah. change. Why do Southerners talk so much? Well, we got stuff to say. Because we're paid to on these videos. <laughs> yeah, this is specifically about this cast. I, I can't answer this. I talk a lot. I, I feel like we've been pretty quiet today. Yeah. Well, you know, there's, a, I mean, the stereotype about like Southerners talking slow is obviously not correct. No, because we are a mile a minute right now. Right. This is a good sign though. If a Southerner is talking to you a lot, they like you. Very true. Yeah, um, we, we will start with small talk and then we find some, some common ground and yes. then we're going to like carry it on there. And then that leads to a two hour story about our uncle. Yeah. that you had no interest in, but we're gonna tell you anyway. For sure. And then next thing you know, you won't be getting a Christmas card every year from us. Being around my family is very much like, you kind of just have noise for about three hours and then you go home and sit in silence. Yes. Every time my mom would have her Bunko group come over and play, I just I just think everybody sat around laughing. The whole time. <laughs> You're like, even, there's no words being said. They weren't even talking, they are just laughing. <laughs> and if you ever see them after that first small talk and they don't ask about your mama and them, then you, you you're not in good terms. Mm -hmm. Well, I asked right now, how's your mama and them? Yeah. Just let, let us know. Yeah. Tell us in the comments. Please. Well, if you have any other questions, um, ask, leave them in the comments. Ask Google. Or message us. Don't do that. I got too many messages. I don't think we've done enough educating in our videos, apparently, if they're still having to run to Google to, to yeah. ask these questions. Also, that's a lot of questions. I don't think I've ever asked Google why the Northerners are 
do anything. Like y'all, yeah. y'all obsessed with us. And the moral of the story is we're not so different after all. We're not so different. You, you and, and I. I. You and I. Lady Gaga. Why do Southerners love It's a Southern Thing and can't wait to subscribe to their YouTube channel? Well, that's a great question and you should subscribe and you should leave a like and a comment. Mm -hmm. That's the best way to help us out and get more funny videos like this one. And once you subscribe, hit that little bell for notifications. That way you get a little update every time we upload a video and you don't ever miss one. Look at that. Yeah. Your world is complete now. No. Yeah. Just that easy. We're so much better than Google. Yeah, oh, man.